three really. But I should be able to do this one. Okay, let me do you know this one. This one, depending on difficulty, kinda sucks. On easy mode, it's just it's literally just throwing it's like you're throwing babies into hot lava. So this one is kinda alright. Gay Haynes commercial use technology marketplace in progressive. I mean, that's playing what you like, slush puppy. That's that's what you like. Uh, this one, it's kind of a right. It's kind of a boring one. You just you just inflate a Bowser balloon to a large amount. And then a C tier. This one, I I hate I hate the two button the the two button mechanic. One button to catch the bomb and one to throw it. Instead of just auto catching it for you. That one kind of sucks. This one I kind of like actually. I'm 27, I like what I like and I love older men and women. Okay, thank you for the thank you for the intro to your to your uh, to yourself. Thank you. I'm 27, I like men and women, and I'm al alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a definitive tier list. My opinion is the only one that can be accepted here. Uh, let's see. Bumper balls on this level is kind of terrible. Wait, does it have different levels of it, or? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, yeah. On this one, kind of sucks. Yeah, recovered alcoholic. Nice. Good on you. Hopefully you stay recovered. Oh, this minigame. This is a one this is a minigame from Mario Party 1 in which you have to skateboard as fast as possible while the CPUs grow a piranha plant that runs faster and faster every time it rains. This one's actually kind of fun. I like it. It's a nice concept. It's kind of nice. Uh speed hockey. I hate speed hockey with a passion. This mini game too, I hate it. Uh, I don't know what some of these are since I've just never played them. This one's kind of nice. You just you just find the shell that has like the item or whatever it's, that's in it. It's it's decent. Clean and clear, just like that song from Kingdom Hearts. Oh no, wait, that's, uh, that's clean and simple. Never mind. That joke sucked, never mind. Oh, totem pole pound, I like this one. Although the one part I don't like is that if you screw up just even a little bit by not hitting the totem at full power, the CPUs catch up and they beat you out. But it's decent. Yeah, simple and clean, whatever the Kingdom Hearts song is. But, um... Hot jump rope. Mm, I like this one. Dungeon dash. I like it. This is the derby race car track speed track derby. It's it's I. Oh, this is like a. This is one where you like take a light bulb. And take it to the end of a corridor, but a boo is chasing you. And the boo can infect um, the characters and grab the light bulb from you and deliver it to the boo. So it's, it's kind of a nice one. I like it. Man's want to head some Nintendo exclusive info. I didn't sign the NDA. I can leak it. Sure. Sure thing, man. What's some, what's some exclusive info that you have? I like this one. Yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, balloon. This one. I like this one a lot. Nintendo Wii U2. <laughs> There's no way they're making a Wii U2. Because, comparatively speaking, it was a failure compared to other consoles. I mean, I have a Wii U. I like it. No joke. Wait, is, is that actually a thing? 
Is it going to be a Wii U 2? They're butt hurt. <laughs> there's no way there's going to be a Wii U 2. I can't find anything on it. I got nothing. All right. This one, I hate this one. Pattern, you, you linked it kind of shit, but it's all right. I got you. Anything you know about Switch 2? Oh yeah, I've heard this one. I think someone yesterday or the the stream before said the Switch 2 was already in like development. I'll read this after the uh, tier list. Gotta do one thing at a time here. Uh, our marketing team has concluded that the Wii branding is more profitable than the Switch branding. I mean, yeah, the Wii is... The Wii is definitely more legendary than the Switch in all regards. The Wii is beloved so much by by Nintendo fans. It it definitely is. They're giving it to testers already, paying testers eight hundred bucks a week to test the Switch too. I mean, I don't have to worry about that. I'm definitely not being like um, eligible to test it. Fuck this mini game. I hate it. This one is all right. I wonder how you become testers. Nintendo probably already has a selection process. Like, like in-house uh, Nintendo people. And then, like, maybe certain, uh, certain pre-selected, like, YouTubers or streamers get to do it as well. They have a thing. They're currently workshopping the name right now between Wii Play, the Super Wii Play, Super Nintendo Play, and so on. I mean, I recommend, I recommend Nintendo stick to the Wii branding. It's, it's much better than the Switch. Uh, this one, yeah, it's alright. You, you this minigame, you're just literally counting toads in a forest. Uh, Archer Rival, it's, it's alright. This one kind of sucks. Tank minigame. It's alright. That's what marketing said, okay. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't screw this up. Oh, this one. I remember this one from Mario Party 1. I kind of like this one for some reason. Even though it's like, you feel so bad for not finding the treasure because you didn't find the arrow. Well, I kind of I liked it. Why am I streaming with like such a high like thing on my cam? Just put it right there. And I'll just make it bigger. There we go. It's gonna be a dumpster fire either way. Yeah it is. Hopefully Nintendo just doesn't pour gasoline on the fire. The uh the jackhammer tracing minigame, I like that one. This one is it's alright. Oh, this is the box minigame. You break a bunch of boxes trying to find, like, get coins and whatnot. It's all right. Tug of War. Terrible. Because it, it's on Mario Party 1, it's so difficult on the hands. They're trying to compete with the Switch Market 2, RTX 3060, non-RTX cable, mobile GPU, for example. Mm. I mean, they could... They can do it as long as they just make it good. The Switch had so many problems upon launch. The Wii, I, the Wii I'm pretty sure, was phenomenal on launch. Oh, the Steam Deck. Okay, because I was wondering, like, Nintendo doesn't use an RTX 3060. What, what are you on about? The Steam Deck, is the Steam Deck even good as a console? Or a handheld, whatever it is? Look away, I have issues with this game. 
but it's it's all right. I like this mini game. This one is kind of like uh, the the spinning dizzy game, dizzy dancing. You just have to jump on mushrooms and on a platform. It's all right. This one is all right because it's super easy. You're an idiot. My bad. Words are hard. Th that's also another theme in this stream. Words are hard, especially for me. The Steam Deck is good for people who don't want to have, have to get the overhead for a desktop PC, but still want a laptop. Basically, busy desk workers. Okay. But as, as long, I mean, they have a niche they can appeal to. This one is all right. Uh, oh yeah, this one's like a rocket. You're just pumping up a rocket. This one is all right. It's just like break some blocks. Bowling. I like bowling. This, the thing is, I like bowling so much as a real life sport. I like it. I like any video game variation of it. It's almost impossible to ruin a bowling video game. I, I even had bowling games on my DS that I got from the DSi shop. I wasted, luckily, only a small amount of points on bowling DSi games. Cause I, and I didn't care because I had fun. That's how much I like bowling. Uh, bombs away. That's all right. They're going to have an LCD version and a portable mobile exclusive version, too. That's less powerful. Switch... A switch light. Oh, like a switch light. Okay. I definitely didn't know this since I don't pay attention to Steam stuff. I, I, I don't even use Steam nowadays. They don't have anything related to OLED tech in the dev kits out right now either. I don't, I'm not even sure what OLED is. It seems like just some new thing that came out. Like, I, I know LED, that's a type of, like, screen or, like, display. I'm not sure about OLED. This minigame blows. It is impossible to track up fast enough where the treasure's gonna land in the pipe, in the pipeway. I hate this minigame. Bumper balls on the regular land? That's a good game. It's basically LED, but tiny and faster than LED. Oh, okay. Makes more sense. For some reason, this version of the the cart, like the the mine cart game, sucks. You're, you're more prone to falling off. I think. Terrible. Black screen means screen off. I mean, normally that's how it works. Yeah. This mini game is alright, except for when you can't. When you can't trace effect. Oh, thanks for the raid, Mumu. Of three viewers, thanks. Hope your stream went well. Yeah, but when you can't trace and you don't, you don't go the opposite direction, it cancels the, the, the jackhammer for you and then you're just left with nothing. Oh, face off, I love this game. Super easy, but it's just like a nice game. Now, normally on LCD, you can still see the light from behind the black. Oh, okay. I guess I, I haven't dealt with LCD enough to know that. I am not a computer hardware guy. I'm more on the software side. Oh, it's like a 10-year-old technology? Oh, really? I thought, it, I thought it was something new. Or like, like a couple years new. Oh, I love this minigame. Uh, this one's kind of fun too. Let's put a beat here. Your PC screen is most likely LCD. Yeah, probably. I, was, I wasn't looking specifically for LCD. I was looking for just 1080p monitor. Destruction Duet, like this game, very good game. Uh, there's a golf mini game. I didn't even know that. They make a Never 
played this one or this one or this one this one it's only a couple years new tech in terms of common use cases of anything tv tech is rapidly improving so fast the market for it is so cheap i mean that explains why like flat screen tvs are so cheap and there's like so much of them too like all those giant flat screen uh you know like smart tvs or whatever they're they're everywhere and they're so cheap I like this mini game. The log mini game, pretty good. This one, I kind of like this one too. Cost pennies to make, yeah, it must be very cheap. Oh, this is like the, the treasure diving mini game. You gotta find treasure. It's all right. You master a tech for it. Good to know. Becoming smarter. Oh, Cake Factory. That's a decent game. This one. Oh, this is just like the lava version of this game. Where is it? Yeah, right here. But instead of instead of lava, it's water. It's it's literally the same mini game, just different substances. It's different liquids. A pizza eating mini game. Never played that one, but it seems fun. This one is all right. I hate this mini game and all variations of it. This is this one. This one's also a duplicate. Instead of in the sky, it's on a rope above water. I hate it so much. I may act stupid and have no education, but I spend my free time studying tech and reading books about things I like. Good. I mean, that's the only thing you would ever read and or study about, things you like. As long as you're educating yourself, that's all that matters. Now oh, this one, this one was already here. Where is it? Yeah, right there. I'll put the duplicates just right next to each other. This one is all right. Aw, oh, shit. Real shit. This one, item minigame, it's also all right. A lot of the Mario Party 2 ones are just all right minigames. I, oh wait, I have played this one. Pretty good. This one's also all right. At least the Fortnite kids are gone? Yeah, luckily. I don't need them sticking around here. Oh, the face stretching mini game? Yeah, this one's also fun. I like it. Uh, Dizzy Dancing. This one's just like... Where is it? Where is it? I just put it like... Oh, I put it right here. Oh no, that's... Oh yeah, updated title, I forgot. Uh, I'm trying to... F there it is. Uh, That seems, that seems like a title that would attract internet people. Uh, oh, the Bowser Inflation game, also pretty good. Where is it? I just put it right here. Am I blind? What? Oh, C tier. Yeah. This one, eh, it's all right. Uh, this one, this one's just like finding coins in mini games, kind of underwhel underwhelming. Oh yeah, this one's kind of neat. Coins and 
and bags of coins fall on the flower and as you're running around it tilts the flower over it's basically a remix of um it's basically a remix of this game right here so instead of one person staying in the center it's one person who first gets the coins and the other one is everyone else gets the coin and then the center person gets the coin but still yeah still good games just different just a remix of it Kankar Havoc I think it's called I'm trying to hate that mini game because I can't beat my best my best time on that one this one terrible fuck the epitome of why the Mario Party 1 controls on the N64 are bad. You hurt and bleed your hand trying to rotate that stick around to, to, to make the light, to, to create luminescence. Internet speeds are a thing of the past, as in no speed is common now. Home internet from T-Mobile, no stress, only 50 bucks. I mean, that's, it's funny that you say that, Slush Puppy. I have T-Mobile internet, and I recently got a new router for I think 200 megabit internet for like 30 bucks so yeah it's it's really it's really no thing they're basically just giving away internet speeds these days just just have it whatever really yeah I always got a new a new router which I had a position like precariously on a bunch of boxes to get the best signal because the old router it kept cutting out the, on the old router the internet would cut out for like 20 minutes every hour it was abysmal i'm paying 40 bucks for 500 megabytes i mean that's i mean that's 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 that that's proportional still well kind of it's it's not not really actually because I got 30 bucks for 200 megabytes. You got 40 for 500. So you're paying, a, you're paying a little bit more per megabyte than I am. 10 more bucks for twice the speed. I mean, yeah. It, if that's the speed you deem necessary. I only need 200 megabytes because that's the bare minimum for stream speed. For me to stream is 200 megabytes. So I, I only deal with the bare necessities. Like that song. That's the... Bare necessities, nepetities. The router isn't as good, but just buy a better router. Yeah, I mean it is better because it looks fancier. The matching mini game, eh, it's all right. This rowing mini game, this rowing mini game right here, can blow a dick. It can inhale my gonads. It's so bad. Another epitome of why Mario Party One mini games suck. The stress on the control stick on your hand, for no reason, no reason at all, it can inhale my gonads in its mouth. Fuck you. And to stream, you need upload speed with T-Mobile is better, but not, but not the best. I mean, yeah, I'm not looking for best. I'm just looking for workable. I'm a very resourceful, adaptable guy. Just give me what I need, what's workable, and then I got it. I can perform miracles, man. I got miracles. Uh, what are the ones? This one, the fish penguin racing game. It's all right. I like it. Skateboard scamper. This is another variation of skateboard scamper. Is it already on, already on here? Not even put on here yet. When it comes to cable and living in a rural area, the upload speeds don't need to be higher than 20 megabits, and T-Mobile has a minimum of 40. Oh, nice. I mean, I don't know about the cable, though. I haven't had cable in at least 10 years. I haven't watched TV in, in quite literally a decade. Which helps for me because that's just one less like, thing to worry about. That's one less bill. Don't have to worry about cable bill. A cable bill. Uh, where's Skateboard Scamper? Oh, this minigame. Fuck you, you suck. Is is the best to stream with right now? Sadly, if you want to download, if you want to download my 800 gigabytes, I occasionally do in a single day. My service is good for that. What do you download? That's 800 gigabytes. What? 
what do you have in like like you mean cumulative total 800 gigabytes or like just like 800 gigabytes worth of stuff uh oh here it is yeah skateboard scamper this is just this is the mario party 1 version this is the mario party 2 version same thing just different environments and it's kind of all right Entire archives of emulator games, 800 gigabytes, one download. Damn. Also, nice. My man using emulators. I support that. I did that same thing too recently. I got, I downloaded the entire Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color library of games. Obviously, it's not 800 gigabytes. It's much less. But nice. Ar archiving emulator shit, man. My man. Uh, this one kind of all right. Actually, no, it's C tier. When the C when the CPUs keep ramming into you nonstop and you can't get the coins and you lose, it's annoying. It's still not that bad. Terrible on emulator, but yeah, kind of a C tier game. Is this a separate? Do they have separate tracks on here or just a one? I think it's just a one. This one is C tier. Yeah, I downloaded half of the PS2 catalog a few months ago. Archive.org wasn't happy with me. Oh yeah, they're not. Because sites like that worry about uh, scraping, like bots or botted sites just downloading whole things. It puts way too much stress on their servers. So you gotta, so, so I, the thing I did was that I just did it patiently one at a time with a few breaks in between. I love T-Mobile Internet at my vacation house, but not at my main house. Yeah. I screwed the fuck out of it. Yeah, you, you gotta not do that, Slush Puppy. It's too much stress on the servers. And then worse, they may ban you from their site if you do that. You gotta be patient. I like this minigame too. Oh, this is a very, this is a Shy Guy Says, but a variation of it. It was funny. And that's, that's one of the two reasons I ever do anything. Because it's funny. Or it was dumb. And usually when it's dumb, it's also kind of funny. That's one of the greatest reasons to ever do anything, because it's funny. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, Shy Guy Says. Did I put that up there somewhere? Bear necessities, necessities. Oh, yeah, it's already up here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is the Mario Party 1 version, Shy Guy Says, Mario Party 2 version. This mini game, it's it's all right. When you're stupid, that's always how to do anything. Yeah, the modern clown ideals. I mean, my job, if you look at it in a very like a pessimistic way, is being an internet clown. Like I say, funny dumb stuff. I make, you know, funny dumb sounds like this. Booey, Baba. Booey, Baba. So yeah. I always do things because it's funny or it's stupid. That's my my philosophy. Don't worry, dog, giving you them ad pennies just for you. Thank you, man. I can't wait to use those pennies. Put a down pin on a pack of gum. Uh, there's a fishing mini game. Oh, this is the this is grab a ass the mini game. You just grab an ass. This mini game sucks. I don't like it. Torpedo targets also not the best. I wonder if it's timed or message count based. No, the the ad plays on a timer. Like the the next ad is gonna play in twenty eight minutes and two seconds. I'm fucking old healthcare insurance ads. Yeah, apparently you're. Gay? 
and need health insurance and you're old and a recovered alcoholic Twitch knows too much about you this minigame blows ass fuck you man it's way too long this one kind of sucks too but not as bad Oh, this is Crane Game, but Mario Party 1 version. Did already put Crane Game on here? Yeah, Crane Game blows. It's called I Have Twitch Pods? What do you mean? Oh, this, is, this is also the same minigame where you just grab the other person's sack and then try to take coins. This is also the conducting minigame. Right up here. They can't make money off... They can't make money off of me other than my boss. I'm not an affiliate. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they gotta make money from you somehow, essentially. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Oh, this is also the same thing as, uh... This game. They take my vault and sell the key phrases I've triggered? Oh yeah, probably they do. And they have it all logged. They have reference points to which ads to play, and then they track where you are and which stream, and then give you the ads. Oh, this is also a mini game. This one is not the best. Abandoned ship. I have a love hate relationship with this game, but it's it's alright, I guess. As well as VR chat has started to do that now, so it does Google keyword in Discord. Oh, VR chat. I haven't, I haven't heard of that game in years. It's, it's like that a virtual reality uh, communication talk to people game. Are there ads in VR chat now? <laughs> that would be sad. This mini game, I like it. No ads? Okay, good, because that, that would just ruin the entire game. This one, I kind of like this one. I can't imagine what kind of degenerate nonsense goes on in VR chat. I joined, I played VR chat one time, I think like when the game was just first going. And it was just people just like, just going around talking to each other, and that was it. But the stuff nowadays, Jesus. Your chat has been tracking data since the last two years. Played it for four years, 44 years ago for 3k hours, and they plan on putting ads. And yes, there are ads in VR chat now. World creators are getting paid to put posters up. Christ. You know, people make full time living off VR chat? Do they? How so? How do you make a. Oh, like, like with, with the putting ads and stuff? Now, I'm guessing if you have a popular enough, like, server or world then yeah you could you used to make a living off vr chat that's actually impressive nice i'm proud of you how you actually got about doing that i have no idea this limbo game also fuck off terrible it's easy to just create textures and advertising and so on now there you go more power to you Is VR chat as degenerate as I think it is? Just like depraved and horrible. Is it is is it what I think it is? Sky pilots, I hate it. Way too long. Advertising other people's words, there's marketplaces on VR chat. Will the creators offer rent or kiosks? Really? I did, not, I did not know it, it has changed that much. Yes, absolutely. So mentally unhealthy. 
Were you worse than Facebook? Okay, I, I, was, I thought so. Good to know so I can stay away from it. Uh, I, I think the rest of these I have not played. Oh, this one. This one's alright. And this one also kind of alright. This one, it's alright. Back in the day, I used to make 2 to 3k a month off Steam hosting a clan. We had 300 members and charged members monthly doing the clan. 10 bucks a month? That sounds kind of reasonable, but I'm surprised people uh, pay for that. Please do. If your close friends say they play it, please help them get away from it before it's too late. Luckily, the, luckily the one and only friend I do have, Dimes back there, he's a good Catholic boy. He doesn't play VR chat. TF2 server CSS. I did not know that. Nice. Good on you for monetizing it. Pattern. Fell apart in 2010, but from 06 to 10, it was amazing. Nice. Hope you cherish those memories then. There's Catholic churches in VR chat hosted by real pastors. Really? This is, there's apparently just anything on VR chat. This one is just, yeah, grabbing coins. Yeah, yeah but he's, de he's definitely not willing to get a VR chat just to go to a Catholic church when he goes to one in real life already. There's no point in doing something virtually that you already do in real life. Bowling. Uh, I like bowling. The Mormons have started doing VR chat now too. I mean, Mormons are weird. They, they do whatever. Why does Pattern type like he's 15 and 55 at the same time? Because he is. Because he is. Being in school, making 3K a month for hosting was amazing times. Nice, I'm glad you had those times. Keep those memories alive. And that's all the mini games. Okay, this one I played is it's a racing mini game. There's VR chat police, they role play arrest players and report predators. Good. I mean the role plays, you know, that's nice, but uh reporting the predators, that's also good. Pattern is dope. He is indeed. Oh, this is the bomb tossing mini game. Where is it? It's the same one as I could just want to put it C tier. Or even D tier? Maybe B tier? Yeah, this is this is like hot potato with a bomb. I, I kind of hate it. Oh, there it is right there. Yes, yeah, C tier. This is the Mario Party 1 version. This is the Mario Party 2 version. Casita Rim, us men don't grow up. We just grow old. Very real, very real. Uh, I think that's all the ones I've played. There's, the rest of these don't seem familiar. All right, this one, suck. There's an entire universe of real world commu communities and stuff in VR chat, but the new push to outside world interaction in VR chat has been real. 90% of the friends I've met in VR chat have left VR chat once they moved into each other's homes. Oh, that's kind of nice, making real life friends through a video game. That's how it was back in the day, especially with like the start of, the start of Xbox Live with like, you know, Halo and COD lobbies. People created real life friendships from them. That's nice. Sounds like a lawsuit. I mean, depending on the conditions at which you met the other person, yeah, it can be. Because next you know, you meet someone on the VR chat lobbies, you agree, to, you agree to meet up in real life, and the next you know, Chris Hansen walks out. Have a seat right over there. I like to discuss these VR chat logs you have with this person.
Yeah, the rest of these mini games I have not played. These must be like Mario Party Three mini mini games. It look like it. If it, it feels like I'm playing with the internet in 2007, same goes for the last two years and how the internet changed. Yeah, it's definitely changed a lot. As long as you're enjoying yourself with it, that's all that matters. Yeah, the rest of these I have not played, so I'll put them uh, in here. Oh, this one is Dungeon Dash. It's just like... Uh... Yeah, I've, I've got a Mario Party 2 copied a lot of games from Mario Party 1. There it is. Yeah, this is the Mario Party 1 version, Mario Party 2 version. Dollar with Chris Hansen and Kahuna. <laughs> Definitely not. It's going to be a real thing soon. They started actively logging chats. Now, so talking seriously about anything has been more and more, more frowned upon. All right, that's, that's interesting. I mean, because I've seen video thumbnails of like people talking to other people in VR chat and they discuss like serious things like and like life issues. You should hunt down pedos. I kind of did that. When I first started streaming, I, I'm not sure if any of you know this. The first everything I started thing I started did was streaming was doing Omegle. I went on like those cam up websites where you talk to people, and I would kind of role play as like a guy who was like trying to find pedos, like do, like do a Chris Hansen thing. It was it was kind of fun. I liked it. VR train is in a safe space anymore. Yeah, there's there's. There starts to become less of those as things become more integrated, inclusive, all-encompassing, and other synonyms that are like that. You know, especially as things become more, uh, I would say, like more standardized, moderated. Um, what's a better word? I, I think I think moderated is probably the best term. Things become more moderated, standardized, and, you know, like that, it happens. Who knows what abominations are over there? Yeah. I'll leave VR chat to be the one realm, the one realm uh, undiscovered. Like, I'm okay not going to that place. Yeah, the rest of these just have not played... Maybe I'll play variations of these, I just don't know. Not play that. Baseball. I have played this one, I just don't remember what it's like. I'll just say it's average. I did same thing on VRChat for over a year until I found one of the really bad ones. PTSD is a real condition. Ah uh, yeah, that all changed when like... When those, when those like Omegle or VRChat you know, finding pedo videos become real, then that's when it stops be being like an entertaining video. Yeah, I just have not played... I've, I haven't played Mario Party 3, I just realized. I have not played any any of it at all. Though the thing about the cheeks, you can clap in VR. You're not clapping cheeks in VR. It's not a real person. It's a virtual person. Your virtual person is fucking a virtual person. There's no actual clapping cheeks. I'm mentally sane enough to realize that. Don't actually me, motherfucker. I didn't put a single one in S tier. Uh, screw it. It's they're all good games. Don't actually, motherfucker. It's all virtual. There's no real, no fucking. Oh, the bodysuit maximizer five thousand gives you real orgasm sensations. No. It's all still fake. All the maximize his riz in, <laughs> in Roblox. I have not. All right, there we go. The Mario Party 1 through 3 minigame tier list. Uh, this is the truly objective tier list. I have played Mario Party 1, 2, and not 3. So if you disagree with me, you will be banned permanently. All right. It's pretty good.